Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So, I'm on my way to my workshop. Just picked up my freshly powder coated wheels for the Rich Line. Put some uh, all terrain tires on them as well. So, today I'm gonna be working on the Rich Line. I'm gonna be disassembling a few bits and pieces so I can send the Rich Line off to paint tomorrow. So, the body shop is gonna keep the truck for about two weeks. After that, I'm gonna do the assembly again with a lift kit on the truck put the wheels and tires on it of course and after that I'm gonna show you how the rich line looks like after all the work is done so I'm gonna take you along for the ride it's gonna be a few days combined into one vlog I hope you like it enjoy Now, I hope you didn't think I was going to show you the wheels already, did you? Well, I'll show you part of it. Oh, it's more than enough. Day 2 So we're back with Richline. It's the next day, ran out of time yesterday. So we're gonna take off all the plastic parts, the third brake light cover, um, the covers on the side of the bed, tailgate cover, fog lights, then we're gonna take off all the inner fender guards, all the rubbers from the doors, door cards, and then I think that's about it. After that, just gonna put some tape over the holes that are exposed so I don't get any water into them. And then after that, it's up to the body shop. So, all right, let's go. Okay, so that was the rear left door. Didn't take off the window seals because it's raining and I don't want any water in my doors. So now I'm gonna do the three other doors and then we're off to the body shop. Day three. So guys, got the truck back. She looks amazing. I really love how she came out. She looks just astonishing. So I got her painted again in the same color, Nighthawk Black Pearl. Well, I know it's dark here in the garage, but in the next vlog, I'm gonna take her out and then make a nice video about her. If you see some pink, it's from the LED light here. good she came out perfect so what I'm gonna do now is gonna build her up again put all the interior parts on again the exterior parts here I'm gonna put everything back together I'm gonna show you how to remove it because it wasn't really that visible in the beginning of the video so now I can show you into detail how I did it okay for the tailgate top cover just take out these four screws, Phillips head screws. 
and then you open up the tailgate a little bit and then this part you hit it with a rubber hammer that way to the passenger side so it locks out of these clips so now we're going to do it the other way around I'm going to put on the part make sure they're in the right holes And I'm gonna hit it that way. And that's it. So now we can put back the screws. So the next parts, these two guys, those are the side lights on the bed here. So they have simple locking clips. To take them out, you just take a prying tool for interior parts, pry it out and then it will come loose. You put it in the other way around, you just make sure you line it up good and then you smack it in. The next up is the third brake light cover. To remove that, you just take out these two nuts, 10 millimeter, and then um, you pry out these locking clips with the interior tool. Don't forget to take off the connectors for the third brake light and the radio antenna. And I can just take it off. So now I can move over to the side trim, which is very easy as well. Got these holes, which start off wide and go smaller towards the end. And then we have these kind of hooks. They just hook into them. So to take it off, you move, well, you remove the Phillips head screw. And I just pull this towards you to mount it up, to assemble it the other way around. into place and then just pull it that way and it locks into place Get the screw into there. Now you finish it off with the cover.
So first we put in the connector for the window controller. We make sure we got our light in the socket. There we go. And now you can put the door panel back on. From the top side. line up you just tap it in so now you can put the Phillips head screw back into the door handle don't forget to put the cover back in So now we can put the door handle back in. I'm gonna try and show you how to mount up the door handle. This part in here, lock it up with the black part, and then slide this one. again put it into place take a Phillips head screw and I just screw it back in Now we can put the cover back on. That's it. Three more to go. Alright guys, that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. So next video, I'm going to be lifting the truck. And uh, I'm going to take you guys with me. And after that, I'm going to take some nice shots from the Ridge Line uh, to put on Instagram and uh, show you guys what the truck looks like after the repaint. So, hope to see you the next time. Bye.